We're talking today now about how do I make that jump when I feel stuck. So when I feel stuck, it basically means that I've done well to a degree, I've made some headway, I've been doing okay, but now I'm at the point where I'm at a crossroads. I don't know which direction to go in, I don't know what step to take next. So specifically we see this often for sure in newbies, absolutely. But today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about um, those that have already been buying real estate. Maybe you had a little bit of equity or a little bit of cash or whatever, so you had some options and you bought a few properties or a couple properties, but now you've had hit that ceiling. And so now you're going from having had some success in real estate to feeling stuck. Now you have to explore a whole new strategy to find out, you know, to be able to move forward. So of course we love joint venturing. That's how we made every um, you know, bit of wealth that we do have. Um, and that's our passion in teaching. So of course I'm gonna talk about joint ventures. So now what we find though is a lot of people have a hard time going from having a joint venture, or sorry, having their own uh, portfolio from their own properties to joint venturing. It's almost like it handicaps you from being able to pursue um, a whole new strategy because now you don't know where to go. Those who have to start that way, that's just their only normal. Um, for you, this has to become a new normal and it's a little bit tougher. So, um, you know, one piece of advice that we can give is that nobody looks down on you for needing money. Now, every single investor hits a ceiling at some point. So when you're talking to other people, they shouldn't, and if they do, they're crazy, but expect you to have endless and copious amounts of money or financing ability. So the biggest thing that I see is that people, once they've had a bit of success, they find it difficult to say that they now are looking for money. So it's all about mindset and it's all about positioning. So how do you position it? If you're talking to people, you show them your success. You show them case studies. This is what we bought the place for. This is what we're renting it for. This is how we're cash flowing. Um, you know, and these are the properties that we're buying now. So you you showcase a little bit, um, but you also just say to them, "Yeah, we're tapped out. We hit our ceiling. So we hit our goals. We had planned to buy three or five or whatever it might be, and now to pursue the rest of our goals, we need partners. So, so it's not going in and saying, "Yeah, we ran out of money. We need." You know partners now we have no help and now we got to do things different and it's not like this um kind of stance of having lost you've won you've bought property you've done more than the average canadian and american has done by far so you've won and it's okay to say now that you've changed your strategy so we're now pursuing joint ventures um you know we're we have a proven track record here it is here's our credibility here's some case studies here's what we've done Here's where we stand. So making that shift, it doesn't have to be from a, a place of no power. It's actually from a place of great power because you have credibility and you have a proven track record. So own that, stand tall with it, know that everybody hits their ceiling and that's okay to hit your ceiling, everyone does. Um, and it certainly says nothing about your personality and then just get out there and start advertising your credibility. We have lots of videos on advertising your credibility. Um, so hit the subscribe button, check out the YouTube button. I'm new to all this stuff. We have our Fearless um, Investors Facebook group by Investor Life, so you can search that up. Join us. We give lots of tips and tricks on how to do that, advice and ideas. Um, so yeah, we hope to see you on all those channels, but most of all, just remember that there's no shame in saying it. You don't have to say it from a position of lowliness. You can say it from a position of, yeah, we're switching strategies now. We've tapped ourselves out. We hit our goals. Woohoo. And now we're moving on to our next goals. And for that, we're looking for partners. So hopefully that helps you. And uh, we'll say goodbye from beautiful, I'm hoping you can see it clearly, uh, beautiful Niagara Falls, Canada.